get you through it all Winter through the fall You just make the call Yeah, I'm in it for it all I'm in it for the love Cause love it needs to touch it Now press it on my body Babe, let me tell you something I'm in it for the love It's Amina. We have Elias right here driving. Today is December 31st and we are heading to DFW Airport going on a trip to Ethiopia. See you guys soon. <laughs> so awkward. I don't know how to vlog anymore. <laughs> We just checked into our flight right now and we're in line for security. The line is so freaking long. Um, I can show you guys. So yeah, see you when we get through. <laughs> Focus. Okay, guys, finally made it through security. How long was that security? Like 45 minutes? So long, and so now we're sitting the airplane is behind us. Obviously, we're taking Emirates. We're taking the exact same route that we did back in 2018. Dallas to Dubai and Dubai to Ethiopia. Yep, so literally just waiting to board the plane. And I'm about to pass out because I'm exhausted. <laughs> I think we got like two or three hours of sleep. Yeah, maybe that's how you feel that time. Yeah, yes. So we'll see you guys soon.
was already on vacation in Dubai and we had no idea we were connecting here so actually this is the first time I'm gonna see her in like eight years or something because she moved back to Sudan a long time ago so I'm gonna see my sister right now for our connection flight which is gonna be so exciting hi 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 Daniel what about Eka? <laughs> So oh, what, what hotel is this? Top floor. Top in Dubai. Floor. In Dubai. Very nice. Do you want to give me a hotel tour? Uh, Maybe okay. Maybe just this room. <laughs> Here, you want to record it? Oh, me? Yeah. So this is like Sudani. Wait. Hello? <laughs> you say You say what? Okay. Go ahead. Dining area. This is the dining area. Very nice. Okay. Mm. Yes. What is that? Oh, that's so. how many bathrooms does it have? Three. How many bathrooms? Three. Three. Oh, okay. How many bedrooms? Two. Okay. 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 Oh my gosh, it's so nice. Come look at it, Elias. <laughs> Here's the pool. The hot tub is right there. Oh, you don't know how to swim? No. Ooh. Well, so you're not in you America, you know? I'll teach you. Of course. You gotta move back. I'm scared. I'm gonna like go drown. No, you won't drown. If I'm with you, you're not gonna drown. Tomorrow, let's wake up. Ah. What, you guys are gonna go at 6 o'clock, right? Yeah, like 7. <laughs> 7? You yeah. can leave? Yeah. <laughs> she came so, out as soon as we came in. <laughs> oh. Who? Oh. Okay, wait, I need to go get the charger for this. That's my new question. You like it or no? Where's the charger? What's your favorite game? Um, I don't have a favorite. Uh, you don't have one. Yeah. He likes a lot of games. Okay, guys, move. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna do a Q&A test. But first, make sure you like and subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so who's gonna start first? Here, at least hold the camera for us. Okay. So, Amina, what is the first question you wanna ask us? The first uh -huh. question is, um, Danya. how many countries are in Africa? <laughs> you already asked that question, it's like around 50 countries. Okay, good job. You were listening. <laughs> okay, um, your question is, name three countries in Africa. Sudan, Egypt, and Ethiopia. Wow, Sudan, Egypt. Yeah. <laughs> Do five countries. That was so easy. That, that was so easy. Five countries. Mm -hmm. Uganda. Okay. okay. Burundi. Oh, Burundi. Yeah. Burundi. Okay. Yeah. yeah. You just guessed the last. Thing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Asman, your question is. Asman's thirteen, so he gets harder questions. Yeah. Your question is name five states in the U.S. He knows it. Like, <laughs> Oh, does he know all of them? Okay, just change it. Okay, how about five countries in Europe? Spain, Germany, France. France, the three. Grenoble. Yeah. <laughs> no help, really. Portugal. <laughs> I can help them. What is it? English. 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 <laughs> now we're going to ask you a question. First, I'm going to ask you first. Uh, what is the capital city of Asia? There is no capital of Asia. <laughs> what is the capital city of... That's a good one. Um, this is easy, India. Capital of India? I don't know. That. Oh my. <laughs> they have a lot of capitals. Oh, is it New Delhi? Oh, New Delhi. Oh. oh yeah. How about, who knows the capital of Ethiopia? Asma? Somebody should know. Oh. Ali. Yeah. <laughs> what? What? What do you say? Capital city of Ethiopia, Sudan. Did you guys hear of Addis Ababa? 
It's a weird name, right? Yeah. So long. <laughs> Addis Ababa. Oh, no, you can't say Addis. I'll ask you a riddle. Okay, there's five men. Okay. One name, no one. No three actors. No one. Nobody cares. And uh, crazy. Crazy gets lost. Mm -hmm. Which one is lost? Crazy. No. Is that a true question? <laughs> <Why>? <laughs> You said crazy gets lost. <laughs> Nobody cares because he doesn't care about oh, anything, so he just gets lost. I and he go and he went crazy. <laughs> Millie's dad has four children. One named Tom, Sam, mm -hmm. one named Lana, and who's the other one? Millie. <laughs> <laughs> Mine is easy. What weighs more, a thousand pounds of feather or a thousand pounds of rocks? Rocks. Feathers. 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 Do you have a guess and say what? A thousand pounds of feathers. Should I Google it? Can I Google it? No. <laughs> yes. What gave you? What gave you? Feathers. What weighs more, a thousand pounds of feathers or a thousand pounds of rocks? Feathers. They both are the same way, right? <laughs> I they, said they they're powder. both a thousand pounds. <laughs> They're the same. Ah. <laughs> oh, no, no. All right, guys. This was a long day, so I'm just gonna end this day and say good night. Get me a good night's rest because it is so hard to sleep on planes. So I have this nice bed, and it was so nice to see my sister after like eight years. So nice, and all of her kids and everything. All right, see you guys later. Bye. Elias is already sleeping, otherwise he would say bye to. He was watching cartoons. He was watching cartoons in Arabic. Like, what? Good morning, everybody. I am in Dubai, obviously still. But I'm on the balcony. I just wanted to show you guys the view in the morning and the daytime. Because it's really, really pretty. So this hotel is called Cockthorn Hotel. And it is in... Uh, next to city center mall in Dira. That's what they say. And look at this view Isn't that so beautiful stunning How tall that building is and then down below they have a hot tub. They have a huge enormous swimming pool and This is like the hotel from the outside and this is the balcony. Super huge. This is me. So right now we're getting ready to go downstairs and eat some breakfast. And then me and Elias are gonna go to the airport because we have a flight. It's like, it's actually like seven o'clock in the morning right now. 7 a.m. and our flight is at 9.25. So after we eat breakfast, we're just gonna go. This hotel is like 10 minutes away from the airport. So not far at all. So yeah, it's a very, very short stay in Dubai, but at least I got to see my sister and all of her kids after such a long, long time. So yeah, oh look, you can kind of see like downtown. Hold on, let me get this angle. Over here, you can kind of see some, it looks a lot further on camera than it is in real life, but yeah. And literally, you can hear the sound of construction. <laughs> All right, here's the breakfast looking very, very lovely. We got fruits. We got hash browns. We got asman. <laughs> we got scrambled eggs. And baked beans. Delicious. Yeah, French toast, vegetable noodles, yeah, deep sausage, sautéed mushrooms, oh. <laughs> and some boiled eggs, and there is room. So nice, I have Elias over there. Some juice and some. Oh, there's some croissants and stuff. You want them? Yeah, I'll bring them for you. Yeah. Cheese, croissants. I had a crown and Dania. Say hi, Dania. Oh. 
Say hi, Ali. Hi. Say what's up to the vlog. <laughs> All right, let's eat breakfast. All right, we're on our way to the airport right now. Just said goodbye to my sister. And now we're about to get ready for our flight to Addis Ababa.
All right guys, so it's the end of the night and we made it to our hotel. This is where we're gonna be staying for the next six weeks. And I'll show you guys like a little tour really quickly, but I just have to talk about the airport experience because <laughs> it was so much fun. Like as soon as we entered, there was music playing and there was dancers and they had coffee and they were really treating like anyone who was coming, you know, diaspora to Ethiopia so 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 well like we got our luggage so fast when I tell you like it wasn't even 10 minutes it wasn't even 10 minutes they boom here's your luggage get out they didn't even screen us they didn't open our bags they didn't do nothing so basically you know this is just proof that everything that you're hearing in the media on the US's side is false it's a false narrative i'm here in ethiopia now they treated me so great in the airport like i'm so happy to be here too so after that we went to meet up with elias's family which was so nice and i didn't record it just because i just wanted to be in the moment you know i didn't want to be like trying to vlog but i'm sure we'll get plenty of footage we're gonna be here for six weeks it was so so good to see his family again after three years can you guys believe it's been three years since i've been here like that's kind of crazy i'll show you guys the hotel that we're staying in so this is the front door right here and then as soon as you walk in you have basically this huge space so you have of course the mirror right here boom boom and then you have this little tv area really cool we'll go over here there's a little like nook area over here that i can maybe like use my laptop or me and elias can sit and then there's a balcony out here and over here is the bed <laughs> that's elias's stuff making a mess already so we got a bed and then we have the couch here two chairs a big huge closet those curtains are so nice aren't they yeah, and then the bathroom, it has a gigantic, you guys call this steam bath, right? Uh, I think it's a sauna, sauna in, in American English. Steam bath must be Britain or something. Yeah, here's the bathroom. There's a <laughs> sink. I'm laughing at Elias. It has an um, air dryer and a hair dryer. Did I say that right? That's a hand dryer <laughs> and a hair dryer. And we got the most important thing, which is Wi-Fi. So yeah, uh, we're here first day, first night, first day in Addis Ababa. I was telling them earlier about my experience in the airport. I was like, as soon as I got into the airport, I just heard like music and dancing and it was like really, really nice and how fast we got our luggage and stuff. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Like crazy, like in 10 minutes. That's what I said. I literally said it took probably like 10 minutes. That's, That's like even a, a, maybe even a stretch. That's like because, normal, you know? Yeah, because literally we went over there and I said to Elias, I want to record the dancers. And I walked over there and then you were there. Like I didn't dance with, I danced with him for like a couple minutes yeah. and then you were there. He was yeah. there watching me. Yeah. Like it was so fast. Yeah. I wish that it would always be like that. <laughs> yeah. It's so cool to see like everyone in the country like coming together, you know? Because like Dr. Abby said to the people like come back and then one like million one million diaspora and I was like I didn't get it until so now I'm here and I seen the people at the airport dancing and yeah. stuff and now I'm like okay like I'm happy like we chose to come back oh, yeah. in this moment. And even like when we saw your mom and dad they were like Yay! Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, they say that. Yeah. That's like a Sudanese thing. Yeah. And we took, I'll put our, our picture of me and Elias with our Ethiopian flag. That's so cool. All right. Anyways, now would be a good time for us to go to sleep. And we'll see you guys tomorrow. Day two in Addis Ababa. Peace. Peace.